5 Ways to Lower Cholesterol and Triglycerides Naturally Cholesterol is made in your liver and has many important functions. For example, it helps keep the walls of your cells flexible and is needed to make several hormones. As with high cholesterol, elevated levels of triglycerides can increase your risk for cardiovascular disease. But making some lifestyle tweaks can help you lower your triglycerides naturally. Here's how. Triglycerides, which are found in your blood, are the most common type of fat in your body. They come from the foods you eat, especially fatty foods such as oils and butter, and from extra calories. When you eat, your body converts any calories it doesn't use right away into triglycerides and stores them in fat cells. The problem? If you regularly eat more calories than you use, especially from high-carbohydrate foods, you can develop high triglycerides, or hypertriglyceridemia. Other factors that can contribute to hypertriglyceridemia include smoking, excessive use of alcohol, and having poorly controlled diabetes, according to the U.S. National Library of Medicine. Along with cholesterol, high triglyceride levels are linked to heart disease and other health issues related to cardiovascular disease. The U.S. Library of Medicine notes that triglyceride levels higher than 150 mg per deciliter may increase your risk for metabolic syndrome, which can include excessive abdominal fat, high blood pressure, and elevated blood sugar. And according to Mayo Clinic, elevated triglycerides may contribute to hardening of the artery walls, increasing your risk for cardiovascular disease. In this video we share 5 effective ways to lower your cholesterol and triglycerides. Let's start with Number 1. Avoid trans fats. Trans fats are unsaturated fats that have been modified by a process called hydrogenation. This is done to make the unsaturated fats in vegetable oils more stable. The resulting trans fats are not fully saturated and are called partially hydrogenated oils (PHOs). They are solid at room temperature, which gives more texture than unsaturated liquid oils to products like spreads, pastries, and cookies. Their increased texture, as well as shelf stability, is what makes trans fats so attractive to food companies. But partially hydrogenated trans fats are handled differently in the body than other fats, and not in a good way. Trans fats increase total cholesterol and LDL but decrease beneficial HDL. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, banned artificial PHOs, better known as trans fats, in processed foods in the United States as of 2018. Number 2, say no to sugar. If you have high triglycerides, get your sweet tooth in check. Simple sugars, especially fructose, raise triglycerides. Watch out for foods made with added sugar, including soda, baked goodies, candy, most breakfast cereals, flavored yogurts, and ice cream. Number 3. Eat more fiber. Dietary fiber is found naturally in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It's also found in many other plant sources, including nuts, seeds, cereals, and legumes. Including more fiber in your diet can slow the absorption of fat and sugar in your small intestine, helping decrease your triglyceride levels. According to one study including 117 adults with overweight or obesity, eating more dietary fiber was linked to lower triglyceride levels. Another small study in adolescents found that consuming a high-fiber cereal alongside a breakfast high in fat reduced post-meal triglyceride increases by 50%. Number 4. Exercise Regular exercise is important for everyone but especially for someone with high triglycerides. Exercise increases your body's ability to metabolize sugar, which lowers the amount of sugar in your blood and decreases the amount of sugar your body converts to triglycerides. A study published in December 2018 in the journal Clinical Cardiology found that moderate aerobic exercise significantly helped lower triglycerides in people with heart disease. The American Heart Association recommends at least 30 minutes of moderate physical activity 5 days a week. And last but not least, number 5, control your weight. Being overweight decreases your ability to metabolize sugar and other carbohydrates, which leads to high triglycerides. To maintain a healthy weight and lower triglycerides, you need to take in healthy calories and eliminate excess calories, according to Milks. That means balancing your activity level and calorie intake until you are burning as many calories as you are taking in. A nutritious diet and healthy lifestyle are your best defenses against high triglyceride levels. We also want to share one bonus tip to lower your cholesterol and triglycerides level with you. Add garlic to your diet it is known to be a healthy herb for the heart for its cholesterol and blood pressure lowering properties. The antioxidant properties of garlic prevent oxidation of free radicals and cholesterol which can up the risk of heart disease. Garlic not only lowered triglyceride levels but it also reduced total cholesterol levels. Moreover, it also helps to regulate glucose homeostasis and insulin secretion aiding to keep your blood glucose levels in check along with triglycerides. Hope this video helped you a lot, 
Do you have something to say about this video? Share them below. Please subscribe our channel for more upcoming video like this. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.